Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery. It's over there. And today is a design challenge. As many of you know, I have a design called a tot. Now, this is a Potter tot, roughly inspired by the Harry Potter films. And uh, it is just a little tater tot shaped <laughs> character. I was asked, can I design one off the top of my head? Hmm. Okay, sure, let's do that. So let's see, start with the traditional six in a ring. Increase to 12. Four. Okay, let's make a teeny tot. So I'm going to increase in the next stitch. And I really am making this up as I go, but the base is the same. And one in the next. So you'll have 18 if you're doing this with me. Okay, so for a teeny tot, that's the biggest base. So now we are going to do the back loop only. So that we can get it to stand a little better. I don't do this in every pattern where I do the back loop only for them to sit or stand. But I do it in some. Especially if the yarn is not the strongest fiber. It's kind of fun, huh? Making a mystery pattern. Only I know what we're making. <laughs> And I really did make this up <laughs> right now. I grabbed the colors I wanted, but I haven't drawn anything or anything. So let's hope this turns out okay. <laughs> I am going to change colors now to a skin tone. Any skin tone you like. I am going to insert my hook through the front loop and the sidebar right there add my new color and do my favorite color change the almost perfect which is first we slip stitch through the back loop only remember to keep a light tension not a super loose tension but a light tension because you will need this later and you want to make sure you can get your hook in there. You can now pull this loop closed. Ta -da! And nothing happened. You can use your stitch marker if you want to, but I mean, you can tell. <laughs> okay. And then we are going to single crochet in the back loop only all the way around. This one I am going to mark because you do not want to miss the last stitch. Go 
going to make the first two stitches of the next round so that I can mark the side. And we are just going to go around and around for two more rounds. Yeah, we'll start with two. See how that goes. Mm, one more round. So do three instead of two. Okay, so you did three rounds. And now we're going to change color again. Pick a color for hair. Any color you like. I am using this beautiful little golden color. And in the first stitch, we're just going to make a regular single crochet. Just a normal one. And I'm just going to pull this already and fasten off. In the next stitch, regular single crochet. Next stitch is a regular single crochet. And the next and probably five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, nope, not yet. Okay. Six, seven, eight, and we're in front now. Yeah. Okay. So after eight single crochet, we are going to make a spike stitch. That means instead of going here, we are going below the stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five. The remaining stitches are just single crochet. See? He has bangs. <laughs> the next round we are going to start to decrease. So I'm going to go in this stitch, bring up a loop, in this stitch, bring up a loop, and go through all three. Because I'm doing it in the back loop only. In the next stitch, I'm just going to make one. And then in the next two, I'm going to decrease again, like this. So you're trying to get down to 12 stitches. Okay. Now, pause to stuff this little thing. Tap his bottom a little. That he remains kind of flat. And continue closing his head. Now we're going to decrease in every stitch and we're going to go through both loops, not just the back loop. So I'm going to show you the invisible decrease if you don't know it. Go under the front loop and under the next front loop, kind of at an angle like this. Wrap, pull through those two loops, two loops on your hook, pull through the last two. Do that again. You'll have six in total. Okay, fasten off with a tail for sewing. You can close the head any way you like. I am just going to scoop under the front loops of all of these loops. Go back through the middle, 
and back and forth a few times. Make sure it lays flat. And you can go out the back of the head. Sometimes I like to add some extra stitches back here. Fasten off. And let's get a little bit of an eye color. We could use the false French knot, but I'm just going to stitch on some little lines. So I'm going to find his middle, which is the third stitch. So this is, these are spike stitches. So one, two, three, that's the middle. So I'm going to go under the fourth and the second spike stitch. And I'm just going to go around. I'm going to go back under and then go under the second. That's the first. <laughs> there we go. And out the back somewhere. And then with this one, I'm going to go out the same stitch in the back. So I can tie a knot and hide the tails. Have you guessed what we made yet? Leave your guesses down below. Before the video's over, no cheating, what do you think this is? Me, so cute, okay. Now, I'm going to get some sparkly white yarn. Ooh. Make a slip knot. Okay, let's chain... How about nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skip the first two chains and half double into the third. Chain one, slip stitch into the next. Chain one, two, three, four, and into the third chain, make a half double crochet. Eh, two. And slip stitch into the base down here. Meh, it's okay. Slip stitch into the next two. And the next three. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the first two, two into two half double crochets into the third. Slip stitch into the base. 
chain one and one half double crochet into the final chain on the end mm, actually two and slip stitch into the base to make it round cut a long piece for sewing just going to chain one and fasten off get your needle We are aiming for this to, well, we're going to close this really big hole here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And we are just trying to get this on this side. It doesn't really matter how. We just want one of these coming out of these two holes. So first we have to get them in the right spots. It doesn't really matter how you do it, you just need them to end up in the correct spots. There we go. Now do you know what we made? Flip over your little tot, and on his back, attach the wings just go in and out of his body as many times as you want try and stay in the center so that the wings are free to flap <laughs> them on any way you like i am just going to do a rough sew which is where i just just go in and out of the body a few times make sure it's secure then i'm going to go out the bottom tie a knot hide the tails fasten off you know the drill. It's Cupid! <laughs> ah. So, you know, get a little toothpick, give him a little arrow. <laughs> Maybe paint the tip red or something. So yeah, it's a teeny tiny little Cupid. But what if we had changed the color of it? Okay, so you did rounds one through four exactly the same. Now add another row of just single crochet all the way around. Change color to your skin color. For this particular one, I would recommend peach. You'll see why. Slip stitch in the back row like normal, back loop only. But hold on when we get to the next row. I've got a surprise. Do the single crochet in the back loop only for eight stitches. One, two, seven, eight. Now in the ninth stitch, make a spike stitch under the ninth stitch in green. Pull up, make sure you're over that ninth stitch. There you go. In the 10th, continue as normal. Remember, don't fit, don't miss that final stitch. Okay, now for three more rounds, do your skin color. So for the hair, we're gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six regular single crochet, and then we're gonna start our spike stitches. And we're going to make six of them. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Seven. Yep, seven. Three and three on each side is good with one in the middle lining up with your spike stitch. And then continue single crochet around. Now stuff a little bit and finish up the head the same way you did for Cupid. However, do not fasten off at the end. I will meet you and we will do something a little extra to this one. So I changed my mind. We are going to fasten this off. I told you guys, I am making this up as I go. We're gonna close the hole. I'm going to make another magic ring. Chain two, double crochet five times. Pull up a loop, insert your hook into the chain two that you made, grab the loop, you can pull down a little bit if you need to, and pull that loop through the chain two. Now tighten everything and pull the ring closed as well. Leave a tail for sewing. I am going to just go in these front loops real quick. This is an optional step. You don't have to do this. I just want to. <laughs> and see the cute little puff we made? I bet you know who we made now. So now we're going to attach this little puff to the back of her head. And you can attach it any way you like. make Cupid's wings again and attach to the back like you did for Cupid. And there we have Tinkerbell, a little fairy perfect for spring. So you can make Cupid or you can make Tinkerbell. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this fun, kind of unconventional video for me. If you want more videos like this where I just randomly come up with a design and then make it in front of you, let me know. If you make either of these, please let me know by either emailing me, tag me on Instagram, or post it in the private Facebook group down below. I would love to see your little teeny tot creations. So thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too.